what is going on there everybody FHRC Brony here for kind of a little bit of an, an announcement um, first of all I'm if you guys may notice on my my latest videos that I've actually posted I am actually doing uh, my little pony mashups here on FHRC I'm no longer doing that on Tractus Driver 31 you will still see some mashup videos mashup songs there but it's not going to be anything related to MLP so except that one except that one uh, NLP mashup I done with Payphone by Maroon 5. But anyways, I'm here to make, kind of make a, an, an announcement for great news. It's something really good. And, and what that is, is Traxxas has finally announced a new car. New, so-called new car from, from their line. It is the Traxxas for GT 2017 model so they're basically re uh, releasing a 2017 Ford GT uh, I will put some pictures if you guys want to see that what it looks like on a concept picture well probably you guys will know what a f what the Ford GT looks like the the 2017 Ford GT not the 06 that most people know and love it's the new one all right so Traxxas is, is making that one and they announced that it's going to be arriving anywhere this month of March as the time this video is being posted. So the reason why I quoted new, it's it's so-called new, okay? It's it's essentially a re-release of the Traxxas Fortech, not the Nitro Fortech, the Fortech. It's the electric streetcar that Traxxas made before they made, they made the Nitro Fortech. Or is it probably the other way around? I'm not really into the vintage Traxxas ones um, at this moment. But they're basically re-releasing a Traxxas... Is, they're re-releasing a Traxxas Fortech. And they're basically putting uh, new electronics to the, to the car itself. They're using the same electronics that you can find on the Traxxas Slash 2-wheel drive, the Stampede 2-wheel drive, the Bandit, and the Rustler. So... Uh, the same brush system, waterproof brush system, the XL5 system, and and I don't know when are they gonna be making a brushless version of the of the car, the Fortech VXL. I don't know if they're gonna be making any of those, but um, what I'm planning to do is I'm going if I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna just gonna put a castle system because I personally like castle more than the Valenion system, but we'll see what's gonna happen. So another another thing for the Traxxas Fortech is this is going to be for me for me personally as an RC collector this is going to be my first time to ever own a street car I've never owned any street car it doesn't matter if it's Traxxas or Associated or any other brand out there I'm going to be getting a the new Ford GT 2017 Fortech by this summer, all right. I don't know when, but I know for sure this summer. And because this is gonna be, it's going to be my birthday on June, uh, June twenty fourth, twenty seventeen, and I really wanted to get that Ford GT. So I'll be getting that by this summer. And if they don't re release a brushless version of that car, I might as well just get a Valen, I'm a Valeni on a. A uh, castle, probably gonna put a castle sidewinder, or at least something that that can fit on the car. A Mamba Max is kind of too much for it, and uh, and I really do not want to destroy that thing by making it pop wheelies. Even though the car is censored way, 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 way low to the ground, but I really do not want that car to pop wheelies, and especially for a car like I believe this size, it's probably bigger, probably the same length that you find on the. Traxxas Rustler, which you will not see, but it's right there, uh, where my top of my drawer, where that towel is. But it's probably it's the same length as a Traxxas Rustler, or if not, a Traxxas Slash. I don't, I don't know, because I've never seen the Fortech, or not even the new Ford GT in, in person. Um, but, uh, we'll see what happens. But I have, for sure, I will be getting the new Traxxas Fortech. For GT 2017. Uh, what else about that? The so, like I said, it's a it's a XL5 powered 
So they're not making a brushless version at the moment. And the price is kind of ridiculous to me, honestly. It's it kind of is three hundred bucks just for just for a car that's brushed. I mean, it it has the all wheel drive system, but to me that's kind of overpriced. All right. Uh, well, I the reason is the reason for this is because you know they they're they they're putting a licensed body. They're putting a body that's made from a different company, Ford. They got their permission from Ford to put one of their designs on their Traxxas cars. You know, like the Ford Raptor, you gotta pay more just to get the, a Ford Raptor Slash, or you have to pay more to get an onboard audio Traxxas Slash, the one that I have. Yeah, I mean, it, it adds, it, it's, it kinda adds up from its original price. So probably a Ford Tech, leaving the Ford body a lot aside, I think a Ford, a Ford Tech, a Traxxas Ford Tech, not the Nitro one, I believe that's around 220 bucks. I, that's that's my that's my guess. It could be a bit cheaper or a little bit expensive, but 300 bucks just for just for a electric Fortec th these days. I mean, I get the I understand the waterproof XL5 system or basically any waterproof electronics that Tractus provides and the Ford body, but like come on. You want your customers to get this car right away. So to me, that's kind of ridiculous for three hundred bucks. But I'm, that's my first judgment, though. Okay, that I don't like about this new car, it's the price. But what really matters most, it's how it drives and how how I like it and how you guys like it. If you actually happen to own one, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get myself a Traxxas Ford Ford GT 2017 Ford Tech this coming summer. And I promise you guys, I will be doing a, I will be doing an unboxing video for that. Um, oh, another thing, I'm actually, I'm actually going to be doing live streaming, not on YouTube, but I'm doing live streaming on Facebook. Uh, go ahead and follow, go ahead and follow Traxxas Rustler and also in parenthesis, RC in general. I'll try, I'll try to put the link in, in the description. And if it, if, if it doesn't show it there on the, on a description, like maybe a few days after this video is being done, I'm sorry, I, I can't do it, can't do anything about it because there's probably almost no way to do it. But if, if the link is, happens to be down in the description below, um, go ahead and check them out, uh, ask to join, and if you get if you get accepted to join, you must be you must have an RC now have RC noodle about this so. Blah 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 yada yada yada, those kind of stuff. You gotta be an RC RC person in order to join that group, because you need to have at least some knowledge about it. So, yeah, go ahead and check check them out, and uh, yeah, Traxxas Fortech, the two point that's what they call it, which is the twenty seventeen Ford GT. I'll be getting that by the summer, and hopefully, hopefully. To buy a Ferrari body for it because, okay, uh, first of all, I like the Ford GT. You know, it's a cool looking car. It looks sleek, looks aerodynamic, it looks pretty mean, right? But I'm a Ferrari dude, okay. See, ah, uh, I have tons of Ferraris in, in Forza Horizon. I got loads of them. That's how much hardcore. I'm a hardcore Italian sports car dude, so, so um, yeah, I think to 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 me is is uh, making one of those uh, Ferrari four five eight bodies or may, I think a La Ferrari body. I, I don't know, um, but I know they they do make Ferrari bodies. I, I've seen a four five eight body on an RC car in uh, when I was in Nevada and just hanging out at Reno. Uh, we were at I was at this race RC racetrack and slash hobby shop, and then on a, on a display on a display case they have a a Mustang, they had a I think it was a Datsun no it's a BMW sorry BMW um a nineteen I think a nineteen eighties BMW M three body and then there was another car with a Ferrari four five eight body, um, 
it was it was a four five eight challenge, so it, it was a racing racing edition. Yeah, so it's already ten minutes of the video. Sorry for my rambling. I'm sort of a stutter, but I'm just here to talk about the Ford GT, and hopefully. If Tamiya still makes this, I will buy a Ferrari body for it. Because I'm a hardcore Italian sports car dude. <laughs> Alright, that is all. I'll be getting a Ford GT 4Tech this summer. Hope to see you guys in the up upcoming unboxing for that.